Hey, how's it guys? Hey, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to script cryptocurrency price in real time. All right, so if you have used Google Sheets finance function before, you know the finance function has very limited support when, when it comes to getting the cryptocurrency price. And in this video, I'm going to show you a workaround how to use other websites cryptocurrency information to import those information onto your Google Sheets. All right, so I'll be using coinmarketcap.com uh, to import the information. Now let me open a brand new Google Sheets, which is right here. And let me turn up the bookmark. On the CoinMarketCap website, here we have a list of cryptocurrencies. And I'll just import a couple of them uh, to show you an example. And you can basically uh, follow the steps. All right, so here, uh, let's insert a new column and let me increase the, uh, the font size. All right, so in column B, I'm going to insert the uh, label, tickers, and column C is going to be the price. Now let's say I want to uh, import Bitcoin's uh, price. So I'm going to open Bitcoin's page, uh, so new tab. All right, so if we look at the URL, and this is basically the, uh, the query. So we have the uh, base URL, which is going to be the website URL, followed by currencies, which is the, uh, the query type, followed by the uh, ticker name. And I want to grab uh, this component from HTTPS all the way to currencies. In the price column, I'm going to paste the uh, base URL. And I know I still need the, uh, the ticker symbol, so I'm going to select uh, cell B5. And enter. And here, uh, let's take a look. So Bitcoin should be uh, B I T C O I N. And I'm going to paste the currency name. All right. So I think the website takes the uh, currency name, not the ticker name. So I'm going to change the label to currency name. Now going back to the uh, URL, I'm going to wrap the URL with the import XML function. And the input XML function will basically look at the URL that I provide, and it's going to make a request code from the website that you specify in the URL. All right, so the first parameter is the URL, and the second parameter is the uh, expat query. The expat query is basically the query language that I use to extract the information that you want to see. And the query statement is going to be two four slashes div. Open square bracket. They want to type the function contains. And I want to search for the uh, class tag. Comma. They want to insert the uh, element type, which is going to be price value. And make sure that you wrap the uh, price value string with two double single quotations. And close parenthesis, close square bracket, double quotation, close parenthesis, enter. And that was in the uh, price for Bitcoin. Now let's use a different uh, currency uh, name. And let's use uh, Binance. So for Binance coin, I think that uh, it's going to be Binance slash for the space coin. And I'm going to out of field the formula in cell C5 all the way to let's do uh, C11. And that was $609.48 uh, for Binance. And for Dogecoin, and here we have uh, 20 cents. And if I want to a more accurate result, we can increase the uh, decimal placement. And one last thing, if I want to update the price every hour or every uh, minute, so here you want to go to File, Settings, they want to go to calculation. And here you can change the recalculation interval to uh, recalculate every minute or every hour. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.